road racing. I mean, you've been doing, you did the Euros, the, you know, the Worlds, the World Cups, etc. Um, you've been very busy on the track. How does the road fit into your program? Um, I guess at weekends like this, when it can uh, happen in a, a sort of friendly social environment, um, and a little bit of drizzle, but otherwise, um, quite a nice weekend. Probably to fit. quite quite good compared to Scotland sometimes. That's true. Yeah, I, I was sweltering. You probably yesterday. feel at home because you see the snow on the hills. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit wet on the road, but otherwise a, a nice day, and you get three races in one weekend. So what a treat. Yeah, yeah. Um, you say you moved down to to Manchester, so I guess the. The ramping it up towards the, the Olympics next year is full on now. Yeah, yeah, it feels really kind of explicitly tied to that. That I've now I've got my base and I've got my focus and just trying to hold life together and, and train well. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Europeans. I've got to mention the Europeans because it was it was such an ex you know all these these victories. I think you've got the most victories or something. Um, what's it, what's it feel like to, to be that person that's done that? Um, is it surreal? Uh, yeah, I guess it's um, a lot of it's turning up. I've not missed many European Championships, so this no. is me on my uh, my tenth season, uh, and um, the bedrock of that is the Team Pursuit team. A lot of those are, are Team Pursuit medals, so um, it yeah, it feel, obviously it, it feels very good, uh, mm. but it doesn't doesn't feel like the end of anything. It feels like a, a, an accumulation of a journey that's still going. I guess it's a bit like Mark Cavendish and all these two of the front stage wins and, and so on like that. Um, but the, uh, the the Omnium where you won every event, um, you, can you get overconfident when you when you are that good? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I've uh, I had a lot of track prep through the sort of um, November period with the Track Champions League. Um, I did a UCI race to get some points in December. Um, I wasn't coming in without without track legs in a way that some others might have. So. Um, this is the time to, to rebuild, to, to get a bit stronger in the gym, to build up a bit more volume and hopefully when we all come out on our A game in August for Worlds that, that mine's up to scratch. Yeah. And yourself, having achieved so much at the Olympics, at the Worlds, at the Europeans, etc. Are you, how motivated are you for the Olympics? I mean, because you know, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are riders who get really hungry because they've not achieved anything, but you've achieved so much. It's a new challenge for me, actually. So my first Rio Olympics, I went for Team Pursuit, Tokyo, yeah. Team Pursuit, and Madison. Um, my, my dream is to go to Paris and Team Pursuit, Madison, Omnium. So yeah. it really, it does feel, it feels like a new goal. It feels like a new target. And I know that I need to be uh, a sort of a level up to, yeah. to withstand the, the pressure, the preparation for, for those three events, because it really probably wasn't something I could have done in a Tokyo cycle. Um, and it's a bigger ask, but I'm, I'm hoping I'm up for it. And you're riding for a UCI um, road team. Are you doing a lot of road, or is it still staying on the track, mate? No, no, not a lot of road. Um, so, yeah, with my Sarah at family, it's mainly around the track stuff and, and yeah. track champions league. So, I'll be doing um, a touch. I, th I should be riding the Tour of Brittany. Um, it's got a yeah. time trial in the middle of it, so anything that I can get on a time trial bike, that's. Oh, you're looking I'm forward to stage one today, then? Yes, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do have to warm up. So, thank yeah. you. Yeah, all right, well, well done. Thank you. Thanks.